What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. It's been just a really long time since I talked about pets in DD2 and it is time for an updated best pets video. Now remember pets as far as the stats they give you and the damage they do this is completely different than DD1. For any fans of DD1 that are new to DD2, the pet damage and the pet stats that it gives you are really insignificant. Shy of having a max level pet when you very first start the campaign, the amount of damage the pet does and the stats it gives you are going to be just negligible amounts. So really in DD2, pets are all about the pet ability. Uh, the pet ability 100% makes the pet, and it is the only thing you should concern yourself with. Now, of course, you can reroll stats on pets. So, although the stats are not a significant amount, by all means, reroll these to the stat that you want. Say I didn't like the ability power here, I could reroll that and go with actually four more ability power. So, let's go ahead and just take that. Now the TLDW of this video is without a doubt, just get a Dragolich. Dragolich is a beast. Uh, as you see here, Drago has Ghost Whale 1. It's going to come in Ghost Whale 1, 2, or 3. There is zero difference between the three abilities, so any Drago, they're all the same. A Drago is a Drago. Get yourself a Dragolich. Um, haunts enemies, increasing damage taken by 100% for 5 seconds with a 60 second cooldown. This means it's putting a debuff on the mob for double damage. So your towers are doing double damage, your teammates are doing double damage, and of course you are doing double damage for that six seconds. Without a doubt, the all-around best overall DPS pet in the game. Just get a Drago. 7,500 Defender Medals right here from the Treasure Pirate. And depending on your situation, dr adding Dragolich to your arsenal can, in some cases, be better than adding a different hero. Uh, it's expensive, 7,500 Defender Medals. It will take you a few weeks to get them. However, the Drago is going to be a massive addition to your arsenal. There's nothing that's going to kill a boss faster than doing double damage to it from all sources. So, without a doubt, just get a Drago. Make yourself happy. Now, with that being said, there are other abilities that are very useful on pets. So let's just go ahead and run through them. Now, first off, I've got to mention Sparkle Party. Uh, as we all know, once you hit Chaos 5, you are introduced to Assassins. And Assassins, particularly when you first get started with them, can be quite the pain in the booty. Now, Sparkle Party is kind of a go-to for dealing with Assassins. As you see, dazzles nearby enemies for 1000% magical hero damage and stuns for 5 seconds. The hero damage doesn't even matter, just ignore that fact. However, stunning for 5 seconds is kind of a big deal. This will remove not only the assassin from you, but it will also stun any assassins that are around you. So Sparkle Party can be 100% just a go-to pet for dealing with assassins. With that being said, Sparkle Party will roll on any Gatto pet. So any kitty cat pet, doesn't matter what kind it is, can roll Sparkle Party. Just like you can reroll the stats, just head on over and reroll the pet ability if you want to get, or if you don't have Sparkle Party and you are looking for it. Now moving right along, we go to Autumn Meow. Now Autumn Meow is one of my favorites. First off, in my opinion, it is probably, if not the best, it's one of the best looking pets in the game. I mean, Autumn Meow is a good looking little kitty cat. And it comes with just a massive, massive hero damage DPS ability. Now, with that being said, this, remember, is a hero damage pet ability. It's only going to affect your hero damage attacks. So, in like this situation, I've got it on my gun winch, which is an ability power gun winch. This would not be the correct pet to use. However, Cyclone can make you particularly hit like an absolute truck if you are on a hero damage hero. Now, as we see here, increases speed by 50% and attacks deal 155% bonus earth damage. Now, this does not mean you're doing 155% of your damage. You get 155% bonus damage. So if you're hitting for 100, 
the bonus damage that comes with this is going to be an additional 155. So that hit total between your normal hit and the pet hit would be 255% of the normal damage done. This lasts for 6 seconds and has a cooldown of 45 seconds. This is absolutely beast if you like to play like a melee monk that's hero damage. Um, any sort of hero damage hero, the cyclone ability from the auto meow can be just enormous. Now, this is a premium pet. With that being said, if you were to hatch a pet, you're going to have to pay gems to get yourself an auto meow. However, the cyclone ability is very, very powerful and I don't want to necessarily say best in slot as it doesn't affect your towers and your teammates like Dragolich does. However, it can be just extremely powerful. Now moving right along to Curse Aura, this is one of my favorite pet abilities for my builders. Now of course builders, you're not going to be playing them actively. What's the best thing that can help out a builder? Well, getting around the map quicker. So when you're building the map, of course you want to get to lane to lane, get the map built out as quick as possible, and Curse Aura is going to give you a nice little speed boost to allow you to get the map around the map quickly to get those lanes built out. Curse Aura will roll on any creeper pet. So it doesn't matter what the creeper pet is, you can roll Curse Aura on it. 45 second cooldown, just really, really strong pet to use on any builder. This is one of my go-tos. And now moving right along to one of my personal favorites, the Gatto Fireworks. Now we all know I love the Nuke Monk and I love the Nuke Monk pet ability. Uh, Gatto Fireworks is my preferred Nuke Monk pet as the projectile is delivered almost instantly. Now obviously this is not a Nuke Monk so it's not doing big numbers. However, Gatto Fireworks is going to be extremely powerful in a Nuke Monk setup. Um, as you see, Gatto Fireworks fires a trio of fireworks dealing 915% magical hero damage each with a 30 second cooldown. Now if you do the math there, that comes out to 2745% magical hero damage. There are pets, such as the Table Flipper, that do 2750%, which would be 5% more damage. However, the projectile moves through the air very slowly, which makes Gatto Fireworks my personal choice as my favorite in a Nuke Monk situation. Now I wanted to take a look at two pets that have been very commonly used throughout the course of the game. These are essentially free pet abilities. You can get these two abilities on any type of pet that has earth damage on it. So if you look up at the top under pet stats, you see this pet has earth damage, which means sandstorm and this ability can roll on any one of those pets. Doesn't matter if it's a creeper, if it's a dragon, if it's a kitty cat, if it has earth damage, it can get sandstorm. Now sandstorm is another hero damage only type ability. Um, it's gonna increase your speed by 50% and your attacks are gonna do 115% bonus earth hero damage for seven seconds. Now, this is a hero damage pet again, so if you're a primary attack user that stacks hero damage, this could be a beneficial pet for you, which is also going to combine in that speed boost to allow you to get around the map very quickly if you wanted to use it on a builder. Now, that being said too, sometimes, uh, you know, you need to get your hero DPS over to a line and over to a lane in a hurry. Well, Sandstorm can get you there really quick. This was one of my preferred pets in the very early states of the game and is still a strong pet today. Uh, once again, Sandstorm rolls on any earth damage pet at all. And moving right along to the big enchilada. This was probably the most commonly used pet ability throughout the course of DD2 and it is Poisonous Tips. Poisonous Tips attacks deal 120% bonus earth damage for 8 seconds. So it's slightly more damage than the Sandstorm deals. However, it does not have the speed boost and it has a longer cooldown. However, as far as once again getting hero damage type numbers, Poisonous Tips is going to be another one of those free pets. It is also going to roll on any pet at all that has earth damage. So a kitty cat, a dragon, a creeper, if it's got earth damage, it can get Poisonous Tips. 
now taking a look at all the pets I looked at today, uh, of course, a lot of these are really focused on hero damage. And when the pets were introduced into the game, hero damage was a big, big part of it. I know now there's more ability power builds out there than there is hero damage builds. And that's another reason why I just say you just can't go wrong with a Dragolich. Of course, Dragolich is going to double the damage of those abilities. And in addition to that, if you are a hero damage hero, it's still going to work for you as it's going to double your damage for that as well. So all around, Drago is the way to go. 7,500 Defender Medals, earnable in-game, or buy it from another player in a market. So that will do it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Go get you a Drago and swing back by soon. I'll see you next time.